Today I've got some super exciting news to share about a new AI technology from Google called Smurf that experts are saying could be hugely disruptive in 2024 and beyond. Now if you've watched my channel you'll know I'm obsessed with all the latest advancements in AI. And Smurf is seriously mind-blowing stuff. Just imagine being able to explore incredibly detailed 3D environments on your phone or laptop in real time. I'm talking photorealistic quality here, people. So what exactly is Smurf, and why is it set to cause waves over the next couple of years? Well, Smurf stands for Streamable Memory Efficient Radiance Fields. It builds on Google's previous work with Neural Radiance Fields, or NERFs. These NERF models can construct 3D representations of real-world scenes from images, allowing you to move around and view the scene from any angle. But the problem was they required massive amounts of computing power. ZipNerf improved the quality, but still couldn't run in real time. QSmurf, it retains that insane ZipNerf level quality while only needing a fraction of the resources. We're talking 60 frames per second real-time rendering on consumer laptops and phones. How awesome is that? I don't know about you guys, but I think this could open up so many new possibilities for virtual tourism gaming, AR, and VR. Instead of looking at flat 2D images of a landmark or destination, you could freely navigate around a photoreal 3D environment on your phone, and that's just scratching the surface. So how does Smurf achieve such incredible real-time performance? Well, the researchers devised some very clever solutions. Firstly, Smurf divides up larger spaces into separate regions, or submodels. Each region contains its own highly optimized neural radiance field representation. Smurf then intelligently streams in only the submodel for wherever you're looking, rather than trying to load the entire massive scene at once. This avoids overtaxing your device. Additionally, they leverage state-of-the-art compression techniques to condense these Nerf submodels down to remarkably compact sizes, while retaining visual accuracy. We're talking about squeezing gigantic 3D environments into bundles of data small enough to stream and render smoothly on phones and laptops. These innovations allow Smurf to reconstruct details down to just a few centimeters across staggeringly large scenes of up to 300 square meters, all in buttery smooth 60 frames per second. Now here's what really stood out to me. Unlike other real-time 3D scanning solutions, Smurf properly handles incredibly complex lighting phenomena like reflections, refractions, and translucency. It can even accurately reproduce mirror-like surfaces, an immense computational challenge. So you genuinely feel transported right into a real space, flaws and all. Lighting alone elevates Smurf Visuals Leagues beyond what I've seen from any other method operating in real time on consumer hardware. It finally makes flawlessly photorealistic AR and VR not just possible, but comfortable and enjoyable on today's devices. Smurf convinces your brain you're inhabiting a real place, unlocking revolutionary new ways to explore virtual worlds for gaming, tourism, and more. This photoreal immersion was impossible on consumer devices until now. Yes, some kinks around model sizes remain, but the progress in getting movie CGI quality rendering real-time on laptops has experts hugely excited. Smurf provides an utterly tantalizing glimpse into the rapidly approaching future of digital reality for everyone. Just imagine strapping on a headset and virtually stepping into a perfectly reconstructed 3D model of, say, the Louvre or Egyptian pyramids. You could walk around and examine every minute detail up close. How incredible would that be? And with 5G networks spreading, we aren't far off from this being a reality. The applications for gaming are also super exciting. Smurf could enable GTA 6 to render at movie CG quality in real time. And it's not restricted to outdoors. You could explore intricately detailed interiors of houses or castles too. Now, there are still some limitations. The models need powerful hardware to initially train and prepare. But once that's done, the compacted models can deliver seamless 60 FPS performance on phones or laptops. So I'm keen to see how Google and other companies leverage Smurf tech in consumer products. Maybe Google Maps integrates it to let you freely navigate photoreal 3D cityscapes, or they build it into their rumored AR glasses. They could even revolutionize Google Street View. And I'm betting we'll see Smurf lighting up next-gen games and metaverse experiences too. The future is looking seriously exciting, my friends. But I want to hear your thoughts on this. How do you think Smurf could impact different industries like tourism, real estate, gaming, and social media? And what kinds of crazy VR AR apps and experiences do you hope they enable? Let's chat in the comments section below and I'll join in the discussion. 
If you found this video interesting, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe the AI Talks channel too. Well, that wraps it up for this launch. Catch you legends in the next one.